Welcome to Chris Park in Shooting Sports. Unboxing today, this is another FX air rifle. Now this one is, as you can see, still fully to open. So let's pop it out and see what we can find. This has been sent by the Sportsman Gun Centre. And in here, get rid of that outer cardboard. We have the supplied transit case. Put the knife down as well. Let's see what we have got. I do know this is an FX Crown 2. I've been shooting an FX Crown 2 for, oh, I don't know, six, nine months now. I've done the full review on one, but this is similar, but slightly different. Because this is the GRS Nordic Wolf version. So let's just dispose of these boxes, have a look at these accessories, and get on with the full story. So as well as the rifle, we've got the usual comprehensive FX instruction manual. These have got all sorts of tips on tuning, setup, dismantling, swapping barrels, etc. I've done a lot of videos on these channel myself as well, so you can get into it there. Same magazine as before. This is actually, it's unusual for me actually this, because this is the first time I've had an FX in 177 caliber. So the magazine is similar, but smaller. I don't actually know how many rounds it holds yet, but there's another one for the full review. I suspect it's going to be well over 20 but uh, we shall read up on that and see what it says. And we've also got the supplied Foster filling connector. Now that will pop on some bottle and the filling adapter on these is on the bottom there. So going through the rifle, we have got a shrouded barrel. This is, these are using the usual FX liner systems. These are the premium FX liners. We've got half inch thread there for a moderator at the end if we want to add an additional one. I do have a few Donny moderators, so I'll probably be putting one on there. This looks like a 480cc carbon body bottle, so I shall have to also double check that for volume, but yeah, 480cc, so that will probably be a 230 or 250 bar fill, but again, that's all to check. So, the Nordic Wolf, it's a laminate stock and it has, it's an asymmetric system, so this is a right-handed stock. I did actually like the Crown mostly because it was one of the most ambidextrous rifles I've used from MX, but I do like that. So you can take this out, we've got a 20 MOA inclined Picatinny on rail on top for scope mounting. The barrels are removable and there are low, medium and high power settings as well as the rotating dial at the back here. Now this is a UK version, so it's sub 12 foot pounds, but we shall get on with that when we do the full review. Fill gauge here, that's the primary fill pressure, this one looks like it's arrived with me at about 190 bar and then here we've got the first regulator pressure which is marked at just over probably just about 60 about 60 bar there I think and again like I said this is sub 12 foot pound version so we've got a power adjuster there and then we've got the fully adjustable two-stage trigger here now I'm going to give this a safe dry fire so I'll cock it the usual system with FX triggers is they're incredibly comfortable and I've got the safety catch on which is there Very, very crisp. I do like crisp triggers on air guns. So, as well as the asymmetric system and the GRS, essentially the mechanics are the same as you'll see in the review I've done on the um, on the standard FX Crown 2. But, looking at the GRS stock, what's different about it? Well, you can perhaps see in the top video here just how asymmetric the grip is underneath. And there's a right-hander that can't your hand out to the right. Gives you a little bit more spacing on your elbow and you're resting. It's a toolless adjustability. So, we've got adjustable cheek piece height here and we've also got adjustable length of pull so if I just squeeze that in that should pop out here if I take that all the way out it looks like we've got some other adjustment on it as well and there's a standard rubber recoil pad this looks like a limb saver recoil pad which ironically limb saver is actually a product that, when the name that came from archery the limb saver there were small little rubber donuts used to stick on the limbs of a bow to stop them vibrating and oscillating so I'm going to be setting this up I think I'm going to be shooting this hunting only. I'm not going to use a bipod on it. I have got a Crown 2, which is actually sat in front of me over there right now, and I'm looking at it, just spotting some of the differences. That one's got the buddy bottle adapter on it, so I can put the... Uh, I've got an Atlas bipod on the front of that one. But this one's got a smooth fore end, so you can use it in a gun clamp, or, of course, it's going to rest in a hunting position on, on hunting bags, rest bags, or I'll show you that buddy bottle as well. 
the video for that is on my on my channel on the Sportsman Gun Centre channel and it shows you the fitting of that Sabre tactical clamp which goes on here and you can just add a Picatinny rail but it has a Picatinny rail underneath it to add the bipod so we'll get going with this I'm actually quite looking forward to it because it is a 177 I've not had a 177 FX before everything else has been 2225 30 or 35 cal didn't shoot the 35 cals very much but the others I've shot extensively especially 22 and 25 this trigger looks like it's going to be fully adjustable and given the size of the GRS grip there is a little bit more reach to the trigger from the throat to the grip so you do get a more precision position from this rifle. So there we go, look forward to the full review. Please like, subscribe and comment because your comments are what drive me to make more videos. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you can see the regular uploads on the channel. Thank you for watching, bye for now.